get it. It's a nice clink. It was. And the mugs are still intact. So yeah. that's the important thing. It is. The world is really going to pot. Can I say that? You're so serious. <laughs> Every time you start one of these. It's so like, uh, we have a nice little clank and then you just have to be like, like ah. well no, but like, I don't know, maybe it's not even that, maybe let me rewind this, okay? Okay. Everyone these days is like super obsessed with the end of the world. Yeah. Whether it's zombies, yeah. apocalypse, vampires, we've been through it all. It's really zombies right now. Mm -hmm. And so we could talk about the apocalypse, but if the apocalypse happens, which we're not really talking about, and we have to escape, I say we escape to a deserted island. Okay. I mean, I've always wanted to be a pirate and have my own island. And I grew up reading Crusoe, Robinson Crusoe, and then there's the TV show Crusoe that I watched that last is Lost. Season. There is Lost, but I never watched Lost. I don't even know how that ends. I think something crazy happens at the end. People are still mad about that. What is, I, don't, I don't know what happens. I don't know either. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Regardless, I got to thinking, how would we survive on a deserted island? Like if we made it out. Is this there. no? Is this like you and me? This is together. You and me. Okay. Together. Okay. Like this isn't like individually. Individually. Like, yeah. Okay. If we were going to survive on a deserted island. Yeah. So I mean, I think there are multiple questions here and multiple things to like. Yes. Always. Always. There's fish there. out. But I mean, I think the first thing is, what would you bring with you? How many things can I bring? One. <laughs> <laughs> Like there's one, one I like my TV. <laughs> um, what is? I'm just like, I don't know. I'm speaking out of turn, but it's like, my first thing would be like my cell phone, but then that wouldn't. But help that's me useless because that's only a last yeah, yeah. day. I mean, I think you have to go for some sort of weapon, mm -hmm. right? Because either we need to kill animals for food, or each or other yeah, for food. Yeah, right. yeah. That's actually where right. I was going. So, so, but you kind of need something. Mm -hmm. I mean, I want to go with a knife or something because a gun, I mean, only like, then you're going to run out of bullets. Yeah. Then you got all sorts of problems. I don't know. I mean, I may be able to like pull your teeth and fashion bullets out of your teeth. I don't, I don't really like, know how bullets work. The plus side <laughs> is this though. Okay. If it came down to a fight, the only sure way that I could beat you is if I had a gun. Probably. Like, mm -hmm. I could keep you around to kill animals with your knife until they were all gone, and then I could just shoot you and take your knife. Right? Why right. are we planning each other's demise? <laughs> you were the one that brought it up. Okay, let's scratch that. So, one thing, you bring out the knife? Yeah, probably. See, I feel like you could probably make one of those, though. Out of what? Hmm. Bark? That's gonna snap. I know. Have you seen those things, the like filters that you can use to drink and clean water? Yeah, it's like the tube that yeah. you can just like, yeah. I would probably bring That's that. That's smart. That is probably what Between I would Between us, we, you know, we yeah. can share the tube and kill things. <laughs> yeah, and then share the tube. So there's that. But then there's also like... That's what we would bring with us, but then how would we survive? Like, how equipped are you to survive in, like... Oh, not at all. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. I am a homeschooler from Chattanooga. But see, that could work in our advantage, right? How? Well, homeschoolers, like, know things, right, that other people know. Like, how to farm. Yeah. Okay, and... can we take a side note for a second? Yeah. So when I got to college, mm -hmm. everybody assumed that because I was homeschooled, I was in the Boy Scouts. Really? I had like three or four people tell me that. Mm -hmm. It was hilarious, and everyone was like so shocked when I was like, no. 
Being homeschooled doesn't mean you're in the Boy Scouts. I actually was in the Boy Scouts for a brief span. You can tie those knots. No, like I was literally in it for like a weekend or something. <laughs> like I had the handbook and everything, but then I made one of the guys mad, a couple of them mad, because they couldn't sit together. Like I got one of the seats in the back of the vehicle, and they like got mad. Because they both couldn't sit together. Oh, right? gosh. And so that was kind of the end of it. As sad. Two guys so. got mad and then you're like, I'm out. I was like, I, I can't handle all this drama. It's like, who would have thought? You know, the Girl Scouts. Anyway, on, on to the, just back onto the deserted yeah, yeah. island. Sorry, sorry. Deserted island. And um, being homeschooled. And being homeschooled. I so don't think should... for me it services me well. I can tell you things probably mm -hmm. about the deserted island. Yes. Yeah. But see So I grew up kind of in the backwoods a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I'm still working on my accent. But I think I know a thing or two about like See guys, at the end of the day, you're gonna be more equipped yeah I mean to deal with this than granted I I've tried to forget a lot of it because I don't think it like applies to it's the attic thing again it's like, yeah yeah I'm wasting space with these it doesn't apply to what I want to do with life but at the same yeah. time it probably helps to know some of these things because like all my extended family they're hunters and fishers and Farmers and all sorts of that stuff. So technically, if so you've we had got. To survive, if we need to hunt, fish, and farm. Mm -hmm. Basically, you know everything. That's what you're saying. I wouldn't go that far, <laughs> especially depending on how much information mm -hmm. I deleted. But I think I know more than you do. Yeah, oh, and I think that's totally fair. So the real big question. I think we could probably kill stuff, and I mm -hmm. think we could. You know, I think there's a lot of things we could do. What kind of housing? How, where are we staying to protect ourselves? See, that's the thing, okay? How do we how do we handle this? Like Robinson Crusoe had a really awesome tree house. But I mean I guess it depends what you That sounds like a lot of work. Well that that does, especially us. Like I mean It sounds like a lot of work. Now And then you need a hammer and nails somehow, you gotta fashion those and it's just it's a lot of work. <laughs> So what do you have in mind? Oh. Really hoping we can find an awesome cave. Really hoping that we can maybe find a a, a hollowed out ship. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm hoping for. Because those are the really cool stories. See, my thing, okay, I was hoping we could make a palace out of sand. You know, like a sand castle. Sand castles in the sand. Yes. Because that would be... make a giant one. How do we harden it? Water. Right? I, think, I, don't, yeah. I don't know. Coconut milk? <laughs> because there are going to be coconuts on the island, right? Oh, clearly. I guess. I mean, that... I don't know. Okay, so we make a giant sandcastle. Yes. That's your solution. Well, I mean, that's... You're not... Like, that's I'm the okay least with amount it. of work. I'm yeah. trying to, like, help you out here. Yeah. I mean... Granted, if we found a cave, but then I'm worried about what we would find in the cave. You make your points. So there, there could be a homeless guy. <laughs> uh, another guy, and then it's like, well, we don't want to deal with that. Yeah. So then we have to kill him. It's yeah, it's just I know. a whole ordeal. It is a whole <laughs> ordeal. So we're just leave him alone, and then the chances of a ship. Like if we did happen to find a homeless guy in a cave, mm -hmm. then maybe he got on the island buy a ship mm -hmm. so we could find mm -hmm. a ship, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which could be cool, but, I mean, I think, yeah, okay, okay, I think pretty much we've discovered, though, you know, without ever actually trying anything, we could, yeah. we could survive. Yeah. I think it's pretty clear that we could survive and we'd make a good team and we'd be awesome. No, I, I completely agree. What would we not? be awesome at together though is my question. You make a good point. Yeah. Alright guys.
as well. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and all those things you do. Yes, once again, thanks. Okay. All right, you draw. Thank you. You're welcome. I know how much it means to you. Quiet, please.